visitors will hope that he can find the back of goal again here this afternoon as Reno get us underway here early in our first half. Here's Bustos in the box. Darting forward, gets it in towards Bevan, got a touch on it, and then a rash challenge there. Ball still bouncing around. White Camps can't, can't knock it in. Popino in the area, and a nice save by Melvin. That'll be out for a corner kick with Sean Melvin, who made five saves on Wednesday, is called into action in the first half and is equal to the task there. And the ability to score. Here's a good chance for Hopeno down the right side, though, cut it back across the face of goal and just wide of the post. Dangerous from the Frenchman. In midfield is Christopher Weehan. He's got Dane Kelly to his left, all alone. Kelly into the box, plays across towards Hopeno. And that's going to roll out for a throw in. Keep it up. It's crossed in towards the back post, just over the head of Bustos. Couldn't quite meet it. Nice ball in. I think that was. McKendry that played it across and Marco Bustos had a little bit more height there. He might have been able to grab it as Caden Chung is going to come in for Ben McKendry. Hopeno. Forward to Dane Kelly. Can he get around to freeze? He can't place it in front. And touched into the back of goal. There it is. Brian Brown. The visitors lead by a goal to nil in the 73rd minute. And we talked about it just taking one moment to change the match. It's Dean Kelly. Now here's Bartman at the byline. Cuts it back to Bustos into the box. Yeah! There it is. His first goal as a member of Whitecaps FC2. And it brings them back onto level terms in the 79th minute. It's one all. Thoroughly deserved from Meyer Bevan. Like I said before, he's put a great shift in today, working up there solo. What a finish it was as well. Just strikes his foot through it in the corner. Keeper's got no chance. Great technique. But again, thoroughly deserve it. Plays it across and headed just over and wide. Uh, Christopher Weehan, who we've talked about throughout the afternoon, has been one of Reno's great stars. Good cross, and we should have done better with the header there, though. Final whistle. And a one-all draw for Vancouver Whitecaps FC2. And Reno, 1868 FC. It was a match that had chances both ways. A goal for each side as well, and they'll share the points this afternoon. We'll be back on the other side with the final match stats and highlights from UBC's Thunderbird Stadium.